can't take things for granted. You must prepare as if it's your last game. The best talent doesn't win championships. The best teams do. If you want to be a great team, you've got to learn to do the little things. Hey, don't get many opportunities, man. Step number eight, let's go. Bob Palco, the head football coach at West Allegheny Senior High School, a small community in western Pennsylvania, is arguably the best football coach this area has ever witnessed. With a record of seven Whippeal championships in eight appearances, three trips to the state championship game, and one state title, many would call him a legend at West Day. That title of legend, however, goes way beyond the game of football. As coaches, we all love to win, <laughs> as you know. But uh, in terms of the grand scheme of things, we realize that football will only last so long. And the true beauty, and I know that this is how he feels, is when he sees kids go on to college and they become captains of that team, they go on to college and they become successful as an athlete. But more importantly, they go on to be good people well, you had one. <laughs> well, no, who didn't have one? No, yeah, you should share. He didn't want one. He makes sure that the boys are constantly together. He makes sure that they get to know each other. When the freshmen come in, uh, the upperclassmen take them under their wing and, and get them involved in everything. They go downtown and they do walks. Um, for leukemia and for breast cancer and um, so that's really important that they're doing things besides football. So there, there's no question that he's more about the big picture and how they end up say when they're 35 years old and no longer playing football as opposed to you know winning a high school football game you know which is nice but it really doesn't matter at the end of the day. Listen go have some fun okay Understand where I'm coming from? Play hard. Go, get them helmets on, let's get going. Football is sacred at West Day. Not so much because of just the game, but because of what the game means to people and how that one common event brings the entire community together on a Friday night. And no one understands the importance of this more than Coach Palco. Can you, you, want, you want to coach? You want to, you want to lay down and go to sleep? Let's go. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta, and again, our thanks to David Payne and his See you, bud. He is the one that changed everything. Well, you know, a lot of people in this district don't have really a lot to be excited about. And to us, it's become our lives every Friday night. I think it's more than just a simple football game to some people. I mean, I think it's 
getting out of the house. I think it's tradition. I think there's a lot of tradition there. I think they've went to games for years. They continue to. Um, the same folks sit with the same folks. Maybe it's the only time they see them. Maybe they only see these people during football season. It's really pretty powerful. You know, I know I can even go out to, you know, like a local convenience store and, you know, people that I don't even know, you know, they're wearing West A football hats, West A shirts, you know, and they're all talking about the game and, you know, they don't even know that I have anything to do with the program. And, uh, you know, and it's pretty cool to see that, you know, one man can have such an effect. You see these people coming to help that maybe they don't have they maybe at one point they had a family member on the team but they don't anymore and they still it's it's more than that to them they'll come back they come every year for camp they come every year to the games you know coach knows that he, he tries to get as many good people involved in the program as possible directly related and that could be whether it's coaches that's players that's parents that's community people so i think he i think he knows that you know, the more good people you get involved in something, the better the thing's gonna go. A lot of uh, Coach Palco's family is involved. Uh, his mom, his sister, you know, selling tickets, working the golf outing, working different events. So it is a family feel, and I think the coaches too, coaches' wives, I think, get involved in everything. And um, It's definitely a little different than I, I bet you see on a lot of other teams. And after all these years, it's just, bigger and better and happier and um, it keeps growing and to me I think that that's what a, a legend is and that's a person who changes the lives of a, of a, a community or a group of people to um, better their lives and I think that's what he's done. So he's always been around, he's always been a figurehead in the community, you see him everywhere, he always talks to you whenever you, know, you do see him whether it was then or whether it's now, he still remembers you, remembers your name. You know, if you were to ask people about myself as a teacher, I think one of the things they would say is that I'm very uh, genuine, you know, and, you know, I, I am not afraid to just be myself, whether it's the right way or the wrong way. And, you know, Coach Palco has a lot to do with that being the case because that wasn't what I was initially when I began. He had the block. Oh, right there. Yeah. Oh, crap. I, I knew you were blitzing. <laughs> Old Coach Nicholson. <laughs> mean Gene. <laughs>